And we're back on the Subi Hat Cam Angle, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of heat tinting on this Titanium DCS Cosmetics product. Guys, this is a DCS Cosmetic Titanium Handle, and we're going to be heat tinting it so that it's got a nice rainbowish effect for some fun, for some fun and some flair. To do this, I bought myself some titanium wire from Amazon for $6. We are going to need a little bit of wink. This is a rust, reserve, uh, a rust remover, but it's going to allow us to etch the surface, apparently. And we're going to need ourselves a butane torch, guys. I grabbed myself a butane torch, and it is matte gas. We've got two bowls here with distilled water, and we've got ourselves a little bit of isopropyl alcohol to make sure that the part is nice and clean. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab ourselves a cotton ball, I may end up speeding this part up, guys, so that you guys don't have to watch me, like, you know, clean the product all the way out. Okay, it's important to note, I have taken a stainless steel uh, uh, screw right here, and I have threaded the titanium wire through and around into the screws, and then tightened that together, just to keep things in place, so I can hold this like this, with some pliers while heating, guys. Now it's nice and clean. We're just going to double check things really quickly. We are gonna be doing this in gloves to keep oil off the product. We don't want oil on the surface. From what I understand, oil is going to cause problems. And I do wanna mention this is my first time doing this. So we're gonna put this part directly in the distilled water. This is just in distilled water and it's going to keep it so that the product doesn't develop uh, like problems or surface issues while we're waiting, okay? And now we're gonna pull it right into this wink surface. And we wait for it for a few seconds. You will start seeing it bubble. And you go one, two, three, four. Okay, right out into water. And then back out into another thing of water. Now, why they say to do this is so that you can have um, your part kind of do a double bath. And you can see our part here is kind of kind of actually changed color a little bit. It's actually changed color a little bit. It's a little more, more matte than the original. And I can actually smell, there's a, like an actual chemical smell to it. It's kind of interesting. There was a chemical reaction on the titanium. You can see it's kind of etched it a little bit. That's cool. Okay, we're gonna grab ourselves our torch and we're just gonna torch this sucker just like this. Who knows, we're gonna find out. So we're gonna flip on, I have the setting here on the lightest setting to kind of be able to manipulate it. I don't know how it's going to sound on camera, guys. I apologize, I may have to mute this. I don't know how it's gonna sound. Kinda, of, kinda of low there. Interesting, okay. Turn it up a little bit more. I'm gonna just crank it up a little bit higher. We're gonna give it some juice. Give it the juice. No changes yet, no changes. There we go. We got straw color. And what I'm kind of going for is a nice purple. Purple and blues, guys, purple and blues. The straw is actually really pretty. Check that out. You guys seeing this? Please tell me this is working on camera. Please tell me we're getting this. It is looking sweet. 
You guys see this? This is awesome! Oh, it's cool to be an adult and be able to play with fire. Oh, it's so cool to be able to do this kind of stuff. It's really fun. I would definitely highly recommend using wire in this situation to avoid burning and scalding your metal in your hand. Okay, there we go. We're going for it, man. We're going for it. Ah, it looks so cool! Dude, that looks so freaking rad. Go down here. You guys seeing this? It looks so freaking cool. All right, all right, it's, it's definitely awesome. I love it, I think that's awesome. Woo, guys, if you love this, Please hit that like and subscribe button. Please go below, hit that like and subscribe button for me, please. Trying to hit a thousand subscribers, trying to do things that are a little fun, a little more unique and different on channel. Please give me some support and some love. Woo, guys, shake a look at this. I'm loving it. I'm gonna hit this bottom now really hard. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of that? Take a look, guys! Look how cool this is! Woohoo! We've got it done! You guys seeing this? Did I miss a spot? Hold up, hold up. Did I miss a spot? Looks a little pale here. We hit this spot right here. That's the cool thing about this, is it really does allow you to kind of get in there and do some testing, some tweaking on your colors. You can really prioritize certain areas. Go a little bit higher than this. How's that look? Oh yeah, I got that dark purple going into the blue and then the yellow. You guys seeing this? Take a look. Yes, guys. Go below, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I'm going to let this cool off. And I'll be right back. And here it is. We are back after everything has been cleaned up. Take a look. Look at the blues and the purples. They shimmer, they shine. It is absolutely beautiful. Really nice. And what's cool is you can stick this back into the wink solution. Looks like this, everybody. You can stick it right back in there and take that um, tint off if you wanted to and then just redo it. It absolutely turned out way beyond the expectations that I had. I'm really excited. I love that I got that, that um, lighter yellow into the blue, into the purple on the bottom. Really cool transitions, and then the same on top. Really cool. Again, this can be perfected, this can be improved, but I'm really excited to have shared it with you. Guys, hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for joining me. Subi, out.